Viewing this video will make more sense if you view the first three videos of this topology series first. Welcome to video number four of our topology series. I'm David and I'm really happy to be here with you. Today we will look at those network problems I showed you in the last video and actually see which ones can be traced, which ones can't, and develop a rule for knowing when a network is traceable and when it's not traceable. Before exploring the six network problems that were given in the previous video, we need to have a basic definition. Supposing I have a network and I have a vertex like this, and there are three different paths coming into the vertex, okay, and since three is an odd number, this will be considered an odd vertex. Whereas if I had perhaps four different paths coming into this vertex, one, two, three, four. This would be considered an even vertex since four is an even number. When we explore these networks, we're going to look at each one and see how many even vertices it has and how many odd vertices it has. Then we're going to ask ourselves this question, can it be traced without lifting the pencil, without going back over a path more than once? And also, can it be traced starting anywhere, or do you have to find a certain point from which to trace it? And we'll record our data on a chart like this. If I look at each vertex, this vertex has one, two, three lines coming into it, so this is an odd vertex. And here, three lines coming in, another odd vertex. Okay, so we have three odd. One, two, three, four, five, this is odd. But this one has two, okay, and this one has two, so these are even, even. Number of even vertices, two. Number of odd vertices, one, two, three, four, okay, four. Okay, now can this be traced? Well, if you try to trace this one, you might find yourself having a little bit of a problem because it seems like no matter where we go, we end up stuck. Um, you know, let's just say I start here, okay? I, I trade one, two, okay. Now, if I go back this way, it looks hopeful, but as I come across and go up, I'm left with a choice. Either I can get this or this, but I'm not going to get both. It turns out that this cannot be traced. So we'll record that on our chart. Now the second one, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, there's, this is an even vertex. This one has four. This, these are all the same. So these are all even. And if we go inside, we also have four each. So they're even even, 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 and even again. We end up with, I believe, 10 even vertices and zero odd vertices. Okay, so 10 and zero. Now, can this be traced? Well, if you try this one out, you're going to be surprised that you could pretty much start anywhere and trace this. It doesn't matter where you start. You don't even start on a vertex. This is easily traceable, and I'll just trace it. Just, just go around the outside, and then just do like you do when you draw a star. And it is done, and not even hard, okay? So let's record the data from figure two. Okay, this one has an even vertex here. One, two, three, four, this is even, and this is also has four, this is also even. In the middle here we have one, two, three, four, so it's also even, but this is odd and this is odd. 
if you tried this one, it might have been a problem at first tracing it, but this one can be traced. You start here, and I'll just show you. We got one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, and there you have it. Okay. And this figure happened to have four even vertices and two odds. So let's record the data and move on. Figure four. Okay. These vertices out here each have two lines coming into them, so these are even. And these have four each. So these are also even. So we have eight even vertices and apparently no odd vertices here. Okay. Now can we trace this? Well, I can look at it and see how I can trace it. You can start wherever. Trace the square on the inside and then the bigger square circumscribed around the little one and there you have it okay so this is traceable and you can really start anywhere to trace this one okay. it, it doesn't matter where you start it's very easily done record your data hey figure five okay these are basically even if you have two lines coming they're even 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 and these are also even even, even. But this has three, so it's an odd, and this also has three, and so we have one, two, three, four, five, six even vertices, and we happen to have two odds. Now, if you start trying to trace this one, let's say here, you come up here and down, and now you're at the point where if you choose to go back, you're going to miss out on this. Or if you choose to go this way, you'll never get back over here. So. That doesn't work. That doesn't mean it can't be traced, it just means we couldn't do it from this point. But if you start, let's say here, okay? If you start here and start going in the right direction, you can do this. If you start here and go this way, you're doomed. But if you start here and go one, two, three, And you can see that this was traceable, but only if you started and ended at certain points. It couldn't just be done from anywhere. Figure six has three, so that's odd. And all four, this is symmetrical, so all four of these are odd. They all have three. Now on the inside, they each have three. Oh my goodness gracious. We have a figure with no even vertices and eight odds. And if you try to trace it, you are going to have a problem. Okay? Uh, I'll just try it once and see what happens. Maybe I can start by drawing one of these first. So I make this. Then I come around, okay? Now I've already got a problem because if I come back up here, then I'm done. And if I go this way, I'll never get back and get this line. So that didn't work. Maybe one more try on this one to see what happens. What if I start on the outside? Let's do it in red. Okay, start on the outside. So I have one, two, three, four. Now I come down. And at this point, I realize that if I go this way, I'm going to miss the rest of the inner square. And if I get the rest of the inner square, I have no way to get this, or this, or this. And so the answer is this can't be traced at all. Now we're going to look at the chart, the data we gathered from the networks and see if we can develop a rule as to when can a network be traced, when can't it be traced, and if it can be traced, can I start anywhere or do I have to find that certain starting point? 
I notice that the two that can be traced from any point, the two that are in green, both have no odd vertices, only evens. I notice also that the two that could be traced only starting at certain points both had exactly two odd vertices, and furthermore, the two that could not be traced at all, one of them had four odd vertices and one had eight odd vertices. Here are the rules for networks. The traceability of a network depends on the number of odd vertices. If there are no odd vertices, the network can be traced starting at any point. If there are two odd vertices, the network can be traced starting at one odd vertex and ending at the other. If there are more than two odd vertices, the network cannot be traced. So why should the traceability of a network depend only on the number of odd vertices? So let's make a hollow vertex here. Um, think of a vertex as being like maybe a room that you can come in and out of, okay? So supposing that I have a path going into the room. If I ever want to, and I'm not allowed to use the same path again, okay? That's the rule. So what do I do to get out? I have to have another way out. What if I come in, so there's two. What if I come in again? Got to get out again, see? If I have a way in, I have to have a way out. So it comes in groups of two, two, four, six, if you want, another one in, another one out. And they, they, you can keep on going, keep tracing with even vertices. With the um, odd vertex, it's different. If I have a path Let's just say three odd vertices, okay? So I come in, okay, now I go out. Then later on in this network, I come back in, and guess what? There's no way out. So odd vertices become a problem. The only way you could have odd vertices in your um, network is if you have two of them, and one you start at and one you end at. It was necessary that I to trace this, I had to start at one of the odd vertices. Now I couldn't go this way either. Remember I said you can't go that way? Because if I go that way, then I'm using up the other odd vertex and that's it, I'm not gonna finish. Uh, you have to start at one and end at the other. So if I have more than two odd vertices, the network can't be traced, which is simply the rule. A network having all even vertices can be traced starting anywhere. A network with two odd vertices can be traced if you start at one odd vertex and end at the other. And a network having more than two odd vertices cannot be traced. And if the question you might ask is, well, what if it only has one odd vertex? And I will not give a big proof of this, but the answer is this is not possible. You, you cannot draw a network with exactly one odd vertex. Or, you can't draw a network with an odd number of odd vertices, period. It just can't be done. Okay, you try it, okay? Uh, I'll let you figure that out. Okay, oh, another good argument for why the odd vertices are the only ones that matter. Let's just take another network. I drew a little network here, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's whatever the network is, okay? It has even and odd vertices, okay? I, I don't really need to count how many of each, but we know some are even and some are odd. Now, if I feel like adding more vertices, I can just do this. Look, boom, boom. These are all even. When I, put, I can just stick a vertex wherever I want and it's an even vertex, which gives me the idea that the number of even vertices is not the key. I can make as many even vertices as I want there and I don't change anything, okay? so. The key to whether something can be traced or not is the number of odd vertices. Thank you for viewing my video. If you enjoyed my video, please share my video, like my video, and subscribe to my channel.